damage control. And here yeah. come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Dakota Kai, EO Sky, and Bailey Damage Control. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and EO Sky. EO Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, here's the thing. They've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. WrestleMania and takes pride in always controlling the situation around her. There is no one better in the big moment than Charlotte Flair. As physically dominant as any superstar we have ever seen. Charlotte is always happy to send a message inside the ropes. And each step furthers her legacy. the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. Cradle, perfectly applied. 
and she kicks out. She needs to be staying on her opponent here. Flipping Senton finds the mark. This is a unique application of a hammerlock. Power Gets tagged in. Lands the knee. Eo has lost any control of this match. And I bet Shotzi is looking to inflict more damage, too. Oh, just turn that around. Ducks through. Up and over. Selena Del Sol. Is it enough? The cover. Oh, my God, what a shocker. Able to somehow power out in two. Ooh. Bailey avoids the assault. Turns it right around with a counter. Trap the arm. Put it on that breaker. Shotzi getting a thunderous reaction from those in attendance. Ooh, baseball fly. Springboard. Oh, straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Stop in the arm. Plenty of hits coming her way now. And Shotzi reverses it. She gets the tag. Nice running crossbody. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Taking out the knee. Running swan time. Oh. Yikes, that only to wake you up or knock you out. Ooh. Able to evade. Tag. Flare with a chop block. some steam now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to walk out in a few battle scars. And it could be over here. This is it. And she's able to stop the count early. I can't believe the ref didn't even get to one. And Eo gets reversed. Oh! She avoids the contact. Vicious 
uppercut. That'll divert any attack. Jumping DDT. Absolutely planted. Ultimate insult to injury with that stone move. Unbelievable kick out. She knows firsthand how devastating that move is. Io clearly thought that would be it, guys. She has to be frustrated now. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Over the elbow. Right on the jaw. From the middle row. Disdain from this superstar for the other. This is so chaotic. They've taken so it to dangerous. a new level here tonight. Well, I don't think either one of these superstars would be the same after this match. Flying Swanton. Awesome. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Can that finish in? Oh, Charlotte, and she's going for it. Three. And she's stunned in the corner with the reversal. And Madden isn't completely out of EO's side just yet. EO could be turning her fortunes around. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. In comes Bailey. And she's in off the tag. Separation. 
Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. Staved off that attack. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Side slam. He got the shoulders down. And Charlotte wins! And they pick up the win thanks in large part to Charlotte. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. true throwback who talks the talk and can walk the walk. I really can't stand the mouth on this guy, but I gotta say, watching him in the ring is truly watching a master at work. Knight traveled the world and wrestled in every promotion under the sun. Few people have the knowledge that he does. Perhaps Knight will impart some of that knowledge on his opponent in this matchup. But let's not forget about Theory, a guy who defines confidence the second he walks from backstage. There is confidence and there is confidence, Corey. Pretty sure for as much as Theory has the former, he manages to overcompensate with the latter. It's the reason why he's such a target here in WWE. And out of the ring he goes. No! Oh, God! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. And nothing for Theory to feel cocky about there. L.A. Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. He fends off the attack. Up across the shoulders. T.K. 
KO. To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in-ring talent, especially for his age. But Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. And you've actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself, as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. And that definitely made solid impact. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! He's starting to struggle here. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Calculation turns the tide right back around. Oh, this couldn't do it. The ref not even getting a one. Not a whole lot of luster behind that kick out. Theory gets fended off. Uh, ducked underneath. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. And Knight's firmly in command. And that's called using your in ring IQ to get the job done against Theory. Found some holes in Theory's game. Showing how well scouted they each are. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. <laughs> Looks like LA Knight has no respect for his competition. Three. Oh my god, a clothesline. Theory's hopes are waiting. Attack after attack from a determined. L.A. Knight, gloating for the world to see. Oh, man! Corey, this superstar's getting right back in this match. It's almost unbelievable what we're seeing with our own eyes. Believe it, Corey, believe it! Back body drop! Exclamation point! Corey, earth-shaking spot! Here he goes for the win! Then he closes it out. And the count doesn't even begin. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Oh, face stop. He's taking some good hits. What a counter. Carefully plays stop to the arm. Stalking their opponent. What are they going to do here? Oh, knee right to the face. Big half team. My goodness, where do you think he picked that one up? That's what makes Knight so special. That knowledge he got. Oh. Knight kick to the gun. Oh. Knight with the BFT. Will that keep Theory grounded? And he got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner. celebration after a match like that. You can tell this guy was fired up from the moment the bell rang. He definitely had the motivational advantage in this match.
Ridge Holland learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling. But he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history. A man you definitely don't want to start a fight with. You know that old adage, speak softly and carry a big stick, will certainly apply to this man. Holland going to let his power speak for him tonight. The wild card, the Brawley Brutes. Yeah, Cole, this dude's definitely not playing with a full deck. And his partner, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. But... I'll tell you, you never quite know exactly what you're getting with this guy. That's a very different competitor than he was in NXT, that's for sure. But fun to watch, nonetheless. The Judgment Day is here. And the WWE Universe will feel their wrath. And accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. Well, the frightening thing about the Judgment Day is that their main goal seems to be spreading fear throughout WWE. Make no mistake, the Judgment Day are all about wins and championships, but the psychological warfare they wage will keep this group atop WWE. the WWE Universe has been salivating for. And here you see Rich Holland and Butch. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. And communication for these teams is going to be key in this one. A complete focus on teamwork is the only way to win. Oh, 
Shot right to the midsection. Oh, my God. Boom, a forearm smash. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. Look at this. She just tossed the leg. Look from Bush. He's one step ahead there. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Double stop. And this is gonna be it. Maybe not. No. He's looking a little off balance. Headed up, he's thinking big. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, superstar can go out there. Tag is made. Little tandem offense on the horizon. Oh, a beautiful back elbow. Step in the leg. Tagged into the action. Absolutely chucked by a German suplex. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Jawbreaker. Oh, what a slam! What power! What dominance! Escapes with a knee to the gun. What a crossbody! Got the tag! Got the tag! Quick thinking pays off! Serious hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? And he's able to fight Priest off. Clean tag for his partner. Drop kick right to the knee. setting in and you don't know exactly how all your wits about you it could quickly lead to error an impressive chain of moves from Ballard Butch needs to call some separation placed into the corner he turns it around Balor in full control of his opponent setting up oh, almost through the turnbuckle Last second knee to the face there. Ridge got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Look out! Somersault plancha to the floor. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Uh-oh! Oh my god, what a move! In off the tag. Down with a snap here. Expected that one. Oh man. Ridge gets the better there. Louder. And now there's an opening. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Ooh. And he was able to turn that around on Ballard. He's tagging out. 
I guess that's one way to do it. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Up and... T-16! Did Balor secure a win? This is what you call high risk, high reward. This is where Finn Balor's Look at Rich, hit lights up. Yeah, Butch is failing to offer any resistance here. A series of Van Balor top. Oh, misses the ball. Wait, what? Wow. That's pretty unbelievable, Paul. Oh, he knew what was coming. Finn finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Finn trying to bring the fight back in this one. Think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. Here it comes. Finn got out of it. Look at the victory. It's two. Oh, but how? How? That's really as close as it gets. What energy in this arena tonight. I'm getting goosebumps. Training's paying off. He creates space with his legs. Balor retaliate. Down right with the schoolboy. Shoulders are down. And sneaks out a win there. Incredible. Here are your winners. Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Finn Balor puts the finishing touches on this one. For the win. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. Here comes Jimmy Uso, the glue that holds the bloodline together. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! Hey, Jimmy's been helping to run things in the bloodline. Jimmy Uso may not be alongside his brother Jay here tonight, but Jimmy Uso is just as cunning as ever. Hey, superb athletic abilities here. You can say that again. Jimmy Uso has the ability to fly around the ring and still hit like a truck. Honestly, guys, Jimmy Uso is the complete package. I've never agreed more, Byron.
was the phenomenal one, and I gotta say, there's no accident more fitting to describe this competitor. The things AJ Styles is capable of inside the ring are almost unbelievable at times. Yeah, when it comes to in-ring technique, very few superstars can measure up to Styles. He's on another level in terms of pure skill. I'm sure Styles is ready to put all his phenomenal skills to work in this one. And then we have Jimmy Uso, a tag team specialist on his own tonight. But don't let Jimmy's lack of singles experience fool you. He's as tough as they come. Yeah, Jimmy's never one to back down. Constantly exhibiting his toughness and aggression. Make no mistake, Jimmy's going to try to make his competition suffer inside the Uso penitentiary. Good golly, what a knee. certainly put Jimmy's toughness to the test. No other word for it. Just technical precision from the phenomenal one. When you've had the career AJ Styles has, you have to think one of the advantages is that you can shift strategies on a dime. Exactly right, and you shouldn't be afraid to do so. If I'm in Styles' ear, I'm telling him, don't lock yourself into one strategy. He knows it all, so use it all. will. Launching himself in the ropes. Demoralizing spot for Jimmy Uso. Styles truly using everything at his disposal. He went right into that turnbuckle. And landing with the double axe handle. some more punishment. And he's able to reverse. He must have seen that coming. Ooh. <laughs> An elbow drop on the leg. And again. Ruthless. Springboard misses the target. A oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Suplex. Oh no. Oh, oh, here come the strikes from Styles. Phenomenal blitz. IJ Styles rolling through. The
consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times.
Some have called this superstar a bit too intense, and as we can already see from the look in his eyes, there's a reason why. In this business, intensity often breeds success, and he is well aware of that. He's hoping that focus and drive really propel him to success. And he'll be taking on the impressive Cameron Grimes, a superstar who realizes that investing in himself is the most important investment he's ever made. Yeah, Corey, Grimes knows that he's the only one who is in control of his future. And you have to admit, that future is looking bright. Dodges out of the way. Grimes gets intercepted. Driver. <laughs> Pulls the ripcord. Rip Courtney. Ah. Oh, disabling the leg with that. You know, Cameron Grimes can be absolutely ferocious when the moment calls for it. And this is one of those moments. If he utilizes that roughneck offense of his and throws caution to the wind, he could find himself firmly in control of this matchup. That sounds like good advice, Corey. A strategy that's well-suited to the technical savage. He moves just in time. Oh, my gosh! This one might be headed ringside. And he slides him back to the mat. Close eyes. Oh, oh, Lord. So effective. Claw in the face. Is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. Oof. Back elbow puts it. shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Grimes finally short of the moon right there. Clearly thought that was going to go a different way. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Has Grimes in his grasp. You're The WWE Universe giving him an extra shot of adrenaline. Whoa! 
Drives using the WWE Universe as fuel to take him straight to the... Don't finish that phrase, Saxton. Cameron will be detoured to Uranus if he doesn't refocus. Grimes just made him pay the price with that one. For the win! Are you kidding me? Not even a one count. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. That's a slow package driver. Oh, man. We've seen this before, guys. That doesn't mean I have to like it, though. Oh, I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. disturbing oh so frightening so bizarre so eerie it's welcome get worse. to sister <laughs> that looks bad Ron's face is making me weak to my stomach two count and finally finally he picks up the victory here is your winner, Mike D. A taxing victory here. Getting it done the hard way. This win is spreading like a wildfire. The electricity in this arena is almost palpable.